back to another Minecraft Conquest Reforged video. I am the Kinder Knight, and as promised in the last episode, today we will be adding a charcoal burners camp, and it will be located just north of the town of Rushenshire. And for any of you wondering or new to the channel, all the building projects that I am undergoing here are all done on the map of Yarrowin, created by Lord Dacker. It's an awesome map, perfect for medieval builds. In fact, I plan to fill this entire map with different castles and locations that will all have its own lore and history that all ties into the world I'm creating here. So, if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel so you stay in the know for future updates. So here as always is the basic layout for the cap. I'll go ahead and do a quick time lapse, then I'll be back to give you guys a tour. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, and we're back. And now I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of the camp. I have the shader strength off for this part just so we get a little bit better FPS. And so again, this camp is located just a little ways north of Rushenshire on the map. And so this would be the main road into the camp. Now we are going to go ahead and make our way across this little bridge here. Then let's just take a moment to have a look at the camp and take it all in. I really tried to stage it in the most authentic way I could. Obviously Kingdom Come inspired, but done in my own way. With lots of things and clutter strewed about, which really gives it a lived and worked in feel, which is what I was going for. And so now we come to our first house on the tour. And as we enter, if we look up, we see we have goods hanging or maybe it's food. Um, and they're hanging from um, ropes from the ceiling to keep them off the ground. We have some area for some storage 
um, some bags of uh, maybe goods and we have a fireplace in the middle of the room where we can cook our meals or maybe it's just there to keep us warm at night when we sleep and we have two simple hay beds on the floor here with a couple of chests for our personal belongings and yeah that's pretty much it very simple um, very minimalist generally all the houses are going to be designed in the same way so we won't tour them all so we're going to go ahead and move on and we have come over here and we have this uh, wheelbarrow or this cart I should say and it's already been loaded up with uh, coal which will be transported to maybe Roostenshire or maybe to another town because generally the charcoal burners would travel to the customers to sell their coal rather than customers come to them all right and now we're gonna go ahead and head in this direction right here and check it out and see what's over here and as you see we have lots of logs that are cut and wood stored and um, some wood is being covered because we want to generally keep it dry um, and primed for making coal but if we jump up here one thing you guys will notice around the camp is you'll see a lot of these stumps they are from the trees our chopper burners would have uh, chopped down because they obviously they would need the wood to create their charcoal so you guys may see a lot of uh, stumps left over from the trees the charcoal burners would have chopped down and over here we have a little table where we are keeping uh, our pitcher of maybe ale or water and right here we have a little area where um, our charcoal burners could maybe chop the logs into smaller pieces or shave off the bark wherever they would do it and we have a tent full of logs right here where we're just keeping our logs there dry so we're gonna go ahead and check out the um, master charcoal burners our chief charcoal burners uh, houses up here on this hill he likes his house on the hill maybe it makes him feel like he's a lord and over here we have a dove cove I again I love adding dove coves because I feel like it just adds to the atmosphere of a build so let's go ahead and go inside the chief charcoal burner's house and as you see it's a little bigger again has things hanging from the ceiling maybe it's goods food stuff you don't want to leave on the ground where rodents can get to it we have a little table we have a couple of beds um, a chest for things and um, of course a fire in the middle of the room for cooking or just keeping yourself warm because if you guys notice we don't have any doors on any of our houses so again these men are really rugged and they're minimalist so they don't need a lot of things um, to live just the basics and so now we're gonna go ahead and check out where the actual charcoal is made so let's go ahead and make our way in this direction towards the end of the camp and let me explain something to you guys real quick this right here is uh, I guess what it would look like before they um, stack it all up this is the preparations that they would take our charcoal burners would take when it comes to um, making their charcoal um, so basically they will stuff these pegs here with uh, flammable material like hay dry grass tumbleweeds and kindling bark so they would just stuff it in there and then to my knowledge they would stack the wood up and then cover it with uh, clay or dirt and um, you know obviously set it a fire so inside it would just kind of burn inside the the mound and create the charcoal and so I tried my best to replicate the process and steps as you see here we go that's step number two and then if we come over here we see step number three where it's covered in the mud or clay and it's smoking inside it's kind of creating that charcoal and then if we come over here to step number four we see that now they're breaking into it and now you can see the charcoal and they're harvesting that to be able to bag it up and sell it and we have lots of charcoal here we're already harvesting it we're getting it ready to put it in this cart right here and maybe take it into town for the fair because maybe the Roostenshire blacksmith has ordered maybe a couple dozen bags of coal and our charcoal burner would not want to disappoint or miss out on that coin here we just have another area where we keep our charcoal um, the charcoal burners produce so much charcoal that they would need extra areas to keep the overflow um, and keep it dry. And now if we head in this direction, we come to the horses stables. This is where our charcoal burners would keep their horses or mules 
um, for pulling the cart, obviously very important. They would definitely want a method of towing large amounts and quantities of coal long distances to sell. And so a couple of very strong horses, very valuable. And if we head over here, we just have some more um, background kind of details where we have some more logs just being kept dry with that tent. Um, and over here, we just have, again, some more little details. I like to add a lot of this stuff where we have a little tent where we're just keeping some stuff dry. Maybe there's coal in those bags and, you know, it's very important to keep them dry. And then we're going to go ahead and go in this last little house. Again, very uh, cookie cutter uh, as the last one that we've been in. Um, generally the same setup as you see a bed and a fire and uh, some chests for some personal storage and of course things hanging from the ceiling and such so that's pretty much it well actually we have actually this one last little bit of detail um, where our guys can maybe cook out here as you see we have like a pot where maybe they prepare a stew and we have some utensils on the ground and some places to sit and you know eat you know, maybe after a long day of work, our guys can just sit down there and just enjoy the rest of their night. All right, and there you have it, the charcoal burners camp. I really tried to recreate an actual functioning camp with practicability in mind. A, being located near a natural source of water, and B, surrounded by woods. I had a lot of fun putting this together, especially the decorating and staging of it, and tying everything in together and making it make sense. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And if so, please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on that red notification bell so you don't miss any future Minecraft Conquest Reforged videos. Also guys, 1.15.2 beta is live. And so I do look forward to future videos being made with the new amazing update. Once I get everything up and running smooth enough. And I hope you guys are looking forward to that too. And in the next episode, I think we'll be back at Roostenshire Farm. I've been doing some more work over there, finishing it up, that I'm excited to share with you all. Just some things in the future to look forward to. This has been The Kinder Knight from the Charcoal Burners Camp, and I bid you a farewell.